Hey everyone, and welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we're going to quickly show you how to get your CI token for Firebase. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We would definitely appreciate it. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So you might be wondering, what is a CI token and why do you need one? Well, a CI token is a token that can be used in a continuous integration pipeline. And this token allows the Firebase CLI to perform actions on your Firebase project without you having to manually walk it through those commands. So it's gonna use this token to verify that it does have permission to make changes to your project on your behalf. So you can do things like automatically deploy your project, automatically deploy your Firebase functions, you know, set up environment configs automatically, all inside your CI pipeline. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into the tutorial now. You obviously need the Firebase CLI to um, actually set up the CI token. So you can run this command right here to do that if you have not done so already in the npm install dash g Firebase dash tools. But next we'll run the Firebase login colon CI command. And this will allow us to log in and then print out a new CI token for us. So you're gonna to need to take the CI token that Firebase prints out for you and store it in a secure but accessible way in your CI system. So this could be in a variable in GitHub so that your GitHub actions can take advantage of this token. So there are a couple different ways we can actually use our CI token in a CI pipeline. But it is important to know that you'll actually need to install the Firebase Tools CLI in your CI pipeline in order to actually use some of these Firebase commands. Uh, on screen we have a Firebase deploy command and you can see we're using the token flag and we're using a variableized version of our token. One that is stored let's say in GitHub so that we can reference that token. You technically could actually have the value of the token from the previous command where we actually got that token in between those quotation marks, but that is obviously less secure because you'll um, have that actual raw value in the command itself. And of course, you'll also want to make sure that you use the non-interactive flag in your CI pipeline so that you, if there are any steps that require a manual um, entry, that that is not a thing because this is all automatic. That's the entire point of CI. So before you can actually utilize this token in your CI system, you will need to run Firebase use and then your project name to specify which project you're trying to run these commands on. So keep that in mind. So if you ever need to revoke access for a token, you can use the command on the screen, which is Firebase logout hyphen hyphen token. And then you can add the token in there, which you got from the CI login earlier. What this is gonna do is it's going to delete that token from your Firebase project. So any CI systems that are using that token will immediately start failing. That's gonna wrap it up for today's CI token episode. We hope you learned a thing or two, and if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help us out. We also have a podcast. If you enjoy podcasts and you enjoy us as human beings, we talk about whiskey, uh, we talk about coding and tech-related topics, and we just kind of chill and hang out. Um, we'll leave some links to where you can find that podcast in the description down below. Also check out our social media at Small Batch Devs on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, what have you. We really appreciate you watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. Peace. So you might be wondering. So you might be wondering. So you might be wondering <laughs> why. I am definitely wondering. <laughs>